एवरीवन वेलकम टू फोर साइड्स टीवी विद मी अंजलि With the remarkable triumph of Chandrayaan-3, the Indian Space Research Organisation has etched its name in the annals of space exploration. Amidst nail-biting anticipation, the lander Vikram gracefully descended upon the lunar surface of Jabali, captivating the world's attention. As the dust settled, curiosity arose regarding the pivotal task that lay ahead for this formidable lander and its accompanying rovers. Let's delve into the intriguing endeavors awaiting these extraordinary missions, shedding light on their true purpose on the lunar terrain. Here's a special story from Foresight's TV. Following the successful landing of Chandrayaan-3 on the lunar surface, ISRO scientists have disclosed the tasks assigned to the lander and the rovers. After a successful landing, the Pragyan rover will emerge from the Vikram lander within a few hours. It will utilize the side panels as a ramp to reach the Jabili surface. The payloads on both the lander and rovers will operate in the vicinity for a duration of 14 days equivalent to one lunar day, while the research conducted by the lander directly communicates with the ground-based monitoring center, the rover can only communicate with the lander. Since the orbiter sent in Chandrayaan-2 was already in orbit around the moon, it was not included in Chandrayaan-3. Only the lander, that is Vikram and the rover Pragyan were sent along with the propulsion module. In total, there are five scientific payloads that will closely examine aspects such as weather conditions and surface structure on Jabili. The primary function of the propulsion module is to launch the lander module into the moon's 100 km orbit, a process that has already been successfully completed. Additionally, the propulsion module carries a payload called spectropolarimetry of habitable planet Earth, which is called in short as SHAPE. This payload while orbiting the moon observes the Earth using a spectrometer and heat conduction observation instruments. It is anticipated to operate for a duration of 3 to 6 months. The lander included in Chandrayaan-3 is named Vikram and weighs 1749.8 kg including the rover. Its lifespan on the moon is 14 days equivalent to one lunar day. The lander measures 2 meters in length and contains 3 payloads. One Ramba, radio anatomy of moon, bound hypersensitive lunosphere and atmosphere, studies the density of plasma on the lunar surface. Second chaste, lunar surface thermophysical experiment measures the thermal properties of the lunar surface. Third ILSA, instrument for lunar seismic activity conducts experiments on the intensity of earthquakes in the Chandrayaan-3 landing area. It examines soil layers and characteristics providing valuable insights for future experiments. The lander also incorporates the LRA, Laser Retro Reflector Array, an instrument from NASA. This array aids in understanding lunar dynamics and consists of seven sensors. The lander is equipped with the lander hazard detection and avoidance camera along with six processes including the lander leg, rover ramp, rover, ILSA, RAMBA, CHASE, payloads and X-band antennas for secure communication. The rover accompanying the lander is named Pragyan and weighs 26 kg. It moves on the lunar surface utilizing six vehicles and operates for a duration of 14 days. The rover contains two payloads. One is LIPS, laser inducted breakdown spectroscope which performs qualitative and structural element analysis. By emitting a laser onto the soil, it aids in the identification of chemical elements and mineral resources. Second is APXS Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer responsible for detecting chemicals in soil and rocks at the landing site. It specifically targets elements such as magnesium, aluminium, silicon, potassium, calcium and titanium. The lifespan of Vikram and Pragyan, powered by solar panels, is limited to just 14 days on the moon. During this time, these systems function smoothly as long as there is sunlight. However, once the sun sets, darkness envelops the lunar surface, causing temperatures to plummet to minus 180 degrees Celsius. In such extreme conditions, the lander and the rover systems cannot survive. 
Nevertheless, ISRO scientists remain optimistic. They explain that after the 14-day period, when the sun rises again on the moon, sunlight will once more illuminate the landers and the rovers. If they manage to resume operation at the time, it would prove highly advantageous. Ultimately, the reliance on solar power brings both benefits and limitations to Vikram and Pragyan's mission on the moon. While they can only operate effectively during daylight hours, the potential for their continued functionality after the 14-day period offers a glimmer of hope for future exploration and scientific endeavors. Thank you for watching Foresight's TV with me, Anjali.